got to apologize guys i've been really slack on my replies to all of your comments on these youtube videos i've spent a heap of time there this morning trying to make it all work and get the replies back to you but i'm a, I'm a few short so i'm going to keep working away on those over the next few days but uh it was nice to start the morning down at the beach i try and do it every now and again get down to the beach rather than just start at home today though in this vlog i really wanted to break down a few updates for you obviously facebook marketplace last week i bought a huge 500 uh, dvd haul i want to give you a bit of an update today on how that's going and um, also my wholesale purchase that i made as well a good probably about a month ago now i want to give you the breakdown on how that's looking as well so um Right now, the focus for me is plenty of listings. I've got so much stock with the wholesale, with the DVDs that today, it really is a pretty strong listing day. So I will be at home for most of the day, but like I said, there's there's quite a number of updates to keep you guys ticking along on, on how I'm sort of progressing week to week. Um, things are all going really well. And um, you know, I just need to make sure that I'm doing my bit by obviously getting all my listings into the system each and every day. Um, but yeah, it, it's gonna be a good one. I've got a few sales as well to take you through. Plus I wanna give you these updates. So hopefully it makes for a, a pretty good vlog. question are you a smooth or a crunchy peanut butter fan i've gone crunchy today but i definitely think i'm a smooth peanut butter man let me know in the comments what are you i've had a few sales come in overnight as well i've got these new balance shoes right here they are the new balance 410 v4s so you can see here they're in really good condition i only bought them about last week and they've sold for 45 dollars. so they're a men's pair of running shoes they're a us 10 and a half and as you can see there, even by the soles as well, they're in excellent condition. So I've ended up paying, I think, $8 for these, sold them for $45, postage will be $7.32. I'll end up making myself about a $20 profit with this one. A couple of sales out of my DVD Facebook Marketplace purchase as well from last week, guys. I've been able to sell Junior and Glass. And Junior was a brand new copy. Glass was a pre-owned copy. They both sold for $10.00 buy it now free postage so everything that you can see here is so far what i've listed up onto my ebay store from that haul they were all ten dollars or more from a buy it now price anything less than that i've put to the side and i'm going to do it on facebook marketplace as a bulk sale so everything that you can see here was a minimum of ten dollars two of them have already gone on to sell but i will provide a bit of an update on this entire wholesale purchase a little bit later I've had a plush toy sale overnight as well, and here he is here, Taz. Taz has sold for $30 overnight, and I think I bought him for about $2 at a local op shop, so I was really happy to get this one done. I'm really fortunate, as you can see here, Warner Brothers Studios. Uh, we've got Movie World just up the highway here on the Gold Coast, so I do get a collection of really good sort of Warner Brothers-related uh, plush toys, as you can see there, bugs as well. So... Look, really good money here. I've profited about a $15 amount off Taz. He'll go into a $7.32 uh, $7 small satchel. And uh, yeah, $15 profit on the plush. Don't sleep on these guys. All right, back into the DVDs and the video games. So I've had a sale on a PlayStation 3 game that sells in a very quick space of time. We've got SmackDown versus Raw 2008. And this one's ended up selling for $13.95. So it is a relatively small sale, about $9.50 when I take out my tracked postage. But he's a really quick mover, SmackDown versus Raw 2008, if you can find him. I've ended up making about a $7 or an $8 profit on this one, but it was a part of a larger purchase that I made off Marketplace, where I bought the console of a PlayStation 3, sold a bunch of cheap games with it, and then I've sold off quite a few of these around the $10 price. So a really quick winner there. It's only a small amount, but they really do all add up. I've really got to clean up this part of my inventory setup, but um, I have been able to sell these Burton gloves. Uh, they've ended up selling for $39.99. Burton, as you can see there, it is a great brand of snow gear to get your hands on, guys. Um, so these gloves are in very, very good condition, and they've ended up selling for my full asking price. So 40 bucks. I only paid $5 for these in the op shop a couple of weeks ago, so a really quick sell-through rate, uh, and $39 worth of a sale price. I've made myself around about a $20 profit with these ones. And then the last sale was a pair of jeans, uh, a brand that I actually really love to sell, and that is True Religion. I think they are these ones right here. So these were the True Religion straights. 
um, 40 waist, and they've ended up selling for $40. I took a best offer on these. I had them listed up at $48.95. They're in really good condition. Like I said, they're a 40 waist, and uh, I reckon I'll end up profiting about 20 to 25 on these because I only paid a couple of dollars. So it was definitely a lot slower yesterday on eBay for me. I've done about $160 worth of revenue here with these seven items, but I'm generally doing about $300 a day. So it was definitely probably about half what I would normally do. I'm still obviously thankful for every sale that I get on eBay. So I'll get these out the door tomorrow and uh, fingers crossed we can pick it up and get a few more sales today. So last week I spent $350 on 500 used copy DVDs and I've got them all here. I've sifted through 300 of those 500 so far and I wanted to give you a bit of a financial breakdown on how I think it's all gonna play out. And if we have a look at this first poll here, these DVDs sell for a minimum of $10 or more back onto eBay in pre-owned value. So there are some really good ones like this one here, Stallone Cobra, he goes for about $30 worth of pre-owned value. So there were definitely some really, really good DVDs that I was able to find. But I would say conservatively speaking, there's probably about $550 plus postage worth of resale value back onto eBay. So $550 is what I'll account for that poll there at a very, very conservative level of $10 each. Over here, uh, we've got about 200 DVDs that all came under the $10 price point. So rather than listing all of these up onto eBay at a very, very low purchase price, I'm ending up gonna go back onto Facebook and list them up as a wholesale opportunity for somebody. So if somebody wants them for say $100 at 50 cents each, I'll just move them on. Um, so 200 DVDs there that were sort of really of not much worth to me. Outside of all of that, there are these 200 DVDs that I'm yet to sift through. Hopefully there's some really good DVDs in that lot as well. But from a resale value sense, I'm anticipating about $100 for that lot. And I'm anticipating about $550 to $750 worth of resale value there. So conservatively speaking, about $750 on what I've got so far. And then a few more hopefully out of that lot. So conservatively speaking, guys, I'm going to say about $1,000 will be the end result once these are all said and done. So guys, my goal is $1,000 worth of sales plus postage. That's what I'm aiming for and that's what I think I'm gonna be able to get. If it plays out that way, I'm gonna make $650 worth of profit, a 65% profit margin. Now, for thrifted goods, I operated around 75%, so I'm not too far off. It's a wholesale purchase in the end, so you do expect it to be slightly less. So guys, in the end, I'm actually pretty happy with this because I get back to the reason as to why I bought them. I really wanted to find that really low cost, really quick to list type item, a really quick item to ship, and also something that I I could buy in bulk that didn't take up too much storage. DVDs fit that bill. And to be able to have sifted through 300 of the 500 of them now so far, and to know that I'm probably gonna make about a $650 profit, it's a big tick for mine. I'm really happy with the way things have gone here. By the end of next week, they'll all be listed up onto eBay and on Facebook Marketplace, and I just need them to come through and sell for me. So far, I've had eight DVDs sell, and I've made back about $80 worth of value. So we've only got $270 left to go, and then we're in the profit. And I really do think when it's all said and done, it should be about $650 in my pocket. Hey guys, thanks very much for all the uh, kind words of concern when it comes to my seatbelt. I noticed in the last episode, there were about four or five of you that said, Matt, your seatbelt hangs too low. So I've moved it from there right up to the top for you guys. So I'm all safe and secure. There's no issues for me on the road. I'm good to go. I'm currently working away on a video that's gonna come out in about a month's time. And I really wanted to put it into this video today to sort of put a call out for anyone that might wanna be included 
in that video. I won't disclose exactly what it's going to be about at this stage, but for anybody out there that's watched the channel for the last year, if you wanted to send me a quick message just on landscape mode on your phone, basically just saying your name, how long you've been watching the channel and where you're from, um, I'll try and include you into that video that I've got coming up over the next few weeks. So if it was me, I'd say, hey Matt, it's Matt. I'm from the Gold Coast, Australia, and I've been watching your YouTube channel now for the last year. Uh, I absolutely love it. That's just it. That is all you would need to say. It would only go for about three or four seconds. The email to send it to, if you want to do it, is down in the links in the description below. And uh, if you do send one through, I'll do my very best to include you into that video that's coming up over the next couple of weeks' time. So pretty exciting stuff. I'm looking forward to making that one and uh, bringing you guys that over the next few weeks. That was looking so bad before, I had to go and get a second tub from Bunnings. Um, I'm glad I did that, that was a long time coming. And the other update that I wanted to have a bit of a chat about in today's video is the jumper wholesale purchase that I made about a month ago. All in all guys, I'm disappointed with the purchase and, and it's a little bit sad in the sense that I'm yet to sell an item either. Out of the 145 that I purchased, I've listed probably about 45 of them up and they were the 45 that I deemed to be the best of the bunch. I think with wholesale, you can always expect about 75% good and, and great, and then about 25% that you can kind of push to the side. That's just the nature of wholesale. Well, for me, I thought that this order that came in, I had about 75% that I didn't like, and about 25% that I did. I don't think I asked enough questions when I went through the process. I, I knew that this was the wholesale supplier I wanted to work with after doing my research, but I didn't actually ask enough questions to know exactly what I was gonna get my hands on. If you missed the unboxing video, I've ultimately bought US print jumpers. So here's an example of one of them, which to be honest, is a great example of what I'm talking about. The Hofbra house, it's not even US print, but that came in the bundle. Um, this would be another example, a Michigan t-shirt uh, jumper, which actually, this is one of the better ones, no doubt about it. Uh, Michigan print right there on the front. But a lot of them in the other room that I've got, there's a good three boxes in there, a good 75% of the order that I'm yet to even list because I truly don't believe that there is any demand for the item here in Australia. I was under the impression through the Instagram page that I was buying uh, US Pro Sport and college-based jumpers. So kind of like your Michigans that you can see there. In the end, a lot of this stuff was really localized, small community town-based uh, high school type clothing. Um, so there was a lot of, um, I guess, minor league uh, towns and teams referenced on jumpers that really would have no real relevance to anyone over here in Australia. Australia. So while the photos look great on the Instagram page when I confirmed the purchase for US print showing all of the pro sports and the major league colleges, that was really only about 20% of the order that I actually received. So I was a little bit disappointed in that sense and I do believe after a $1,600 purchase for 145 of these jumpers, I'm going to probably battle to get my money back. We've just hit winter. I've only listed 45 of the jumpers, so I do probably need to list a few more and just get my act together. But I just don't think they're gonna sell at the $11 purchase price. I'm gonna pretty much battle to just simply get my money back, I feel, with this one. The 45 that are already on eBay, I've listed them between a $30 price point and a $40 price point. A lot of them as well is size small and medium. There's really not a lot of uh, large and extra large which sell a whole lot better when it comes to jumpers. So I'm working on a very much a smaller size range, which is disappointing as well. Um, even though I knew that that was something to experience with wholesalers that you will get a mixture of sizes, I do feel they are predominantly small and medium and there isn't a lot of the bigger ones. So I wanna bring you this info because as much as I love bringing you the highlights of all the good stuff, I still think it's really important for anyone out there that's thinking about getting into wholesale themselves to just be aware of these scenarios that take place. And a lot of you are probably thinking, did you speak to the, the wholesale supplier and just simply let them know of how you were feeling about the order? And yes, I did. I actually sat down with the owner uh, on a video call and described to him the jumpers that I'd received and, and my unhappiness towards them based on what I was expecting. And uh, he actually sent me uh, what was ultimately $800 worth of inventory for free. 
Um, so he sent that all across, free postage, everything. Um, said that he couldn't provide a refund, but he was happy to obviously send through uh, some additional jumpers to, to make me feel, I guess, a little bit better about the situation. But unfortunately, even after telling him what I was after, I probably only found about 25% of that order um, to be something that I was looking for. Like I said, the good, the bad, I wanna share it all. And this is probably a little bad one that I've got for you here today, but hopefully it doesn't deter you from uh, doing some wholesale purchasing yourself. The DVDs, that was technically a wholesale purchase and that's gonna make me $650. So it's not all bad. It's just probably been a bad bunch that I've picked up here with the US print jumpers, but um, thought I'd bring it to you today in, in this episode. So there's the update on my two wholesale purchases that I've made. The DVD's going pretty well, the jumpers, not so great. I hope it doesn't put you off doing wholesale yourself because I do think there's a real good place there for a lot of you guys with your business. I think I'm personally just in a good uh, situation where I've got a lot of great op shops locally that I can really cherry pick the best of the bunch. And I have a lot of fun doing that as well. Wholesale can get a little bit, um, I guess, boring in a sense of just knowing what you're in for with a thrift. It could absolutely be anything. Um, I'm gonna edit this video right now. I'm gonna do 20 more listings because I do have all these DVDs to do and I like to get 30 listings done every single day and uh, we'll be back on Thursday for a trip to the thrift hand picking cherry picking all of those really cool items that I'll have a lot of fun doing so I look forward to catching you then guys hopefully you've enjoyed this one hit the subscribe if you're still here and give the video a like as well huge way to support the channel we'll see you in the next video on Thursday thanks very much guys see you later